Somewhere hidden amongst thorny brambles is a little kingdom of elves and fairies. Everyone who lives here is very, very small. I'm Ben Elf. <laughs> and I'm Princess Holly. <laughs> Come on, let's play. Wait for us. <laughs> Holly's Little Kingdom. Today's adventure starts at Mrs. Fig's Magic School. The Queen Bakes Cakes. Hello, Mrs. Fig. Lovely autumn day, isn't it? Um, yes, wise old elf. Only problem is the apples are starting to fall. Wow, that was close. So far, I've been lucky. They've all missed my magic school. <laughs> oh, that one didn't miss. Oh, dear. My poor magic school. Broken. Well, you're a fairy. Can't you just mend it with magic? No. Magic always leads to trouble. You don't like magic, do you, Mrs Fig? That's right, Holly. I want to mend the school the normal, sensible, safe way by using a builder. Well, you're in luck. I'm a builder, but it won't be cheap. We're going to need bricks, cement, roof tiles. I know. We'll have a cake stall. The money we make from selling cakes will pay for the repairs. A cake stall? It sounds fun. Let's tell everyone to get baking. Daddy! Daddy! An apple fell on Mrs Fig's magic school. And now the school has a big hole in it. Oh, dear. That's a shame. Mrs Fig is asking everybody to bake cakes to raise money. Bake cakes? Uh, well, don't tell your mother about that. About what, darling? Mrs Fig is running a cake stall. Oh, how exciting. I'll bake some cakes. R really? There's no need. Mrs Fig needs them today. Then I'd better start straight away. Oh, no. What is it, Daddy? Your mother is not very good at baking cakes. Oh. She bakes horrible cakes and she gets very upset if anyone doesn't like them. dum de dum de dee dee doo That's odd. Who's in my kitchen? <gasps> the Queen baking cakes! Yes, Nanny Plum. Would you like to try a cake? Maybe later. Cakes! Cakes! The Queen's baking cakes! I know! We'll have to leave the country. Pack a bag, everyone. The Queen's cakes can't be that bad. They're worse than bad. They're... Cake time! Who wants to try my lovely cakes? Uh, um, um, uh, I've got rock cakes, fudge cake and gingerbread. They look lovely. In fact, they look too good to eat. You don't want to eat them, do you? You think they're horrid. No, no, no. I can't wait to try them. Have a rock cake. Ow! Did you just say ow? No, I said ow. Oh. Is it nice? It's inedible. Uh, I mean, incredible. But maybe I'll save it for later. Try the fudge cake. Ah, uh, isn't it someone else's turn? Don't you want my fudge cake? Of course I do. What do you think? <coughs> Tasty? <coughs> Are you all right, Daddy? <coughs> What's he saying? I'm saying my mouth is stuck. Oh, I think his mouth is stuck shut. Oh, that was horrific. You think the fudge cake is too sticky, don't you? You hate it. No, no, of course not, darling. It's uh, amazing. Oh, good. Try the gingerbread. Dunk it in your coffee. That will make it all soft and yummy. Um, the coffee's just rolled off it. It's completely dry. Take a bite. You know, maybe I'll save this one for later, too. OK, well, I can't stand around chatting. I've got loads more cakes to bake. 
Rock hard rock cakes, super sticky fudge, waterproof gingerbread. We'll have to warn the whole of the little kingdom. The Queen's baking cakes. The Queen's baking cakes. Oh, no. I can't eat one of those cakes again. No one can eat them and survive. Hello. Cake time, everyone. Uh, yes, but you shouldn't have troubled yourself, Your Majesty. We already have lots of cake. You don't want my cakes. Oh, yes, we do. You think they're horrible, don't you? Of course we don't. Oh, good, then. I'll put them here. That should raise lots of money to mend your school, Mrs Fig. Thank you, Your Majesty. Maybe I should have used magic to mend the school. It would have been less dangerous. Keep clear of the cakes. No one eat them. Ooh, cakes. Wait. Yow! What kind of a cake is that? It's a rock cake. Queen Thistle baked it. Oh, the queen baking again. The fudge cake glues your mouth shut. And the gingerbread is waterproof. Incredible. What can these things be made of? I want to do some tests on these cakes. This machine tests how strong things are. Let's start with something very weak, like this egg. The egg had a strength of one. Now let's try a brick. The brick had a strength of five. Now let's try the Queen's Rock Cake. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's reached eleven. Eleven? Nothing has gone to eleven before. Stand <gasps> the cake broke the machine. That cake is the strongest substance known to man. The fudge cake stuck Daddy's mouth shut. Hmm. Let's test how sticky it really is. Stop, wise old elf! Don't touch the fudge cake! You'll be stuck to it forever! OK, let's just say the Queen has created the stickiest substance known to man. What about the gingerbread? Daddy dipped it in his coffee and it stayed dry. Let's see how waterproof it is. Amazing! The most waterproof substance known to man. These cakes must be locked away. They must never be eaten. Not eaten, no. But maybe they can be used for something else. I do hope I've made enough cakes. What if they need more for the cake stall? Trust me, they won't want any more cake. More cake, please. Really? Yes. As many as you can bake. And fudge cake. And gingerbread. Oh, goody. They love my cakes. I'd better get baking. Who's eating all these cakes? Eating them? No one's eating them. So why do you want more? These cakes are the perfect building material. The rock cakes are super strong bricks. We're gluing them together using the super sticky fudge cake. And then the super waterproof gingerbread makes great roof tiles. Amazing! But of course, you must never tell the Queen. Never tell the Queen what? Uh... Oh, Mrs Fig, you've mended the school, so you managed to raise enough money by selling my cakes. Um, let's just say your cakes were a great help. Yes, three cheers for Queen Thistle. Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! hooray! Hip, hip, hang on. These bricks look just like my rock cakes. Uh, yes. And this cement is just like my fudge cake. It is my fudge cake. Oh, no! At least she hasn't spotted the roof. And the roof tiles are my gingerbread. You didn't want to eat my cakes. Well, they're not really for eating, are they, darling? Not if you want to survive. I thought 
Everybody liked my cakes, but nobody did. I wish I'd never baked a single cake. <laughs> but, Mummy, if we hadn't baked any cakes, we wouldn't have mended the school. Holly is right. It's only because of your baking the magic school is fixed. I suppose that's true. Hooray for Queen Thistle! Hooray! Hooray! In fact, we could do with some cakes to finish the chimney. If you don't mind baking some more. Could you make some bricks for Mummy? house? I want to build a patio. Do you do know paving slabs? Well, I suppose I could. Do you do drain pipes? Do you do MDF? Everyone loves my mummy's cakes. <laughs> <laughs>